Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I'm here with the charming giraffe and Mitch from Stone Coat Countertops, and we're in the Stone Coat studio. We're gonna have some fun with the Mixed Media Girl bottle bottoms, which Mitch has never used before. Never used. And Mixed Media Girl paint. So I'm gonna bring you guys down to the canvases. I'm excited. I haven't used your paint line yet. I've seen it, but now I get to use it. I'm pumped. So much fun. <laughs> okay, so I have. For those who don't know, my bottle bottoms come in a set of three. There's four inches, three inches, and two inches. So we're each gonna use one of them. And Mitch and I have hexagon canvases, so fun. So everybody go ahead, grab your colors, and fill up your cups cool. to the appropriate amount. Right, I think I'm going beach scene again. I'm a yeah. fan of these teals. Oh, and you gotta get the gold. The gold. I recommend pouring slowly down the side of your cup. Because for this, we ideally don't want to get too many air bubbles in there. I'm going to go with copper, I guess. White. I knew you were wanting yeah. that white. <laughs> yeah, it's a good color to start with. Remember what you put in the cup first is what comes out last. Okay. Does the um, pouring down the side help keep it from over mixing or that doesn't matter? Um, it does, but mainly it keeps the air bubbles out. Okay. And air bubbles will cause cells and other things. And so if okay. you don't want that, which with this, we're going for nice, gorgeous lines, not so much air bubbles. Caribbean teal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you like beach, that's a great one. Where'd that go? This one right here. It's like we're at the dinner table or beach. I know, right? <laughs> okay. So the goal is to not have it go over your peaks. So you okay. want this kind of centered. And then you're going to pour in the middle. And I like to go in a little bit of a circle. Okay. And, and it's it going to just down. roll down. Oh, yeah. That is cool. And it creates this epic pattern. Whoa. Now, you may not need all the paint in your cup. So if you pour oh, most of it out and there seems to be a lot left. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Hot. I love that hot pink. All right. I got to go to work and stop washing. Yeah. And ideally, the different uh, bottle bottom sizes are four different size canvases, but mm -hmm. because there's three of us, we're just <laughs> all using yeah. different sizes <laughs> without paying attention to the canvas sizes. You, you, you should have given the biggest artist the smallest one. No, I give her the smallest That's one. That's what I mean. That's the best one for that canvas this size. Is cool. That's why I gave it to you. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Should I go faster or no? No, I think you're good. You can even just pour straight in the middle. You don't have to do the circle. Yeah, you can just do that. And then just make sure if it's coming out a little uneven, like you might want to pour a little bit more that I way. See, yeah. See. The goal is to have it come out pretty even. When you use the little two inch one, you have to pour it extremely really slowly. Slow. <laughs> yep. She's going to be there a while. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I didn't get that one. No. This is my favorite one to use. <laughs> yeah, it's going to, you can see the difference in the size lines between the smaller and the bigger ones. Right. <laughs> if you go over the edge, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Okay, so she's gonna have the hardest time, but you're gonna go ahead and just pick it up from the peak. It might stick a little bit because of suction, you know. And then yeah. move it to the side. There you go. Now, I personally like to take a stick and wreck it. So you can push down on the middle a little bit if you want it to kind of go mm -hmm. down. Yours is gonna close up pretty yeah, quickly. It's doing it. Mine just has a big circle. Hers is already closed yeah, up. Yours was, <laughs> yours was so big. Yeah, mine was. 
Yeah. So I like to take the stick and just go through each petal like this okay. in the middle. Not required, but I think it just makes it even more awesome. Do it. Do it. I've got these little like white splotches in the middle of mine so that'll help break that up. Yeah. Nice. Look how pretty. It is. Yeah. Cool. And, and the best things to do this on a lazy season. But to slow the spin it or yeah. go fast. Either one. It's just because it uh, moves it out at an equal speed. Right, 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 right. So if you're tilting, then you pretty much want to tilt it towards a side and then back to the middle to maintain your design as mm -hmm, much as possible. Mm -hmm. You're stretching it a little. Yeah, so just tilt it out, then back to the middle. Tilt it out, back to the middle. Really as much as you want. And you don't have to keep the design. It's your painting. You can do whatever you want. Purple with that hot pink is really good. Let's make mental notes of color comments in there. As much white as I put in there. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I put any white. <laughs> Most of the time I do art projects, they're complete fail. And every time <laughs> I do an art project with you, they look awesome. Oh, yeah. Like, That's amazing. My wife's gonna like this. Yeah. I like that uh, advice of bringing it back in. That's cool because it keeps it centered. Yeah. Otherwise, it kind of becomes a blob in your little thing. Then it's cool. <laughs> I'm losing it. You're good. You touch up your edges there. Yeah. This is sweet. See those killer lines? I do. I want to go more in the center. Go for it. There you go. Bam! I like that, just put a little on the edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you got this width. Do that. That's where I was touching it, huh? Yeah. Cool, that is so cool. What? Yours is so <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. What are your I like colors? The purples. Wow. I like that. Yeah, so this is actually really cool using all three of them in the same video because you can see the fine lines there compared to the medium mm -hmm. and then the bigger. Correct. You actually, it's a big difference in the lines. So my original intention with the bottle bottoms was different canvas sizes, but you could really use it to get different lines as well. Have you tried doing two on one canvas? I did, yeah. yeah what did I do? Were huh? they kind of nasty? I did something. I don't remember what I did exactly. And also it's fun to pour it and then rotate it mid and then pour more and then rotate and then yeah. pour more. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of really fun things you can do. I love this color. I know, right? Yeah, those are my cool. those are your colors. My colors. <laughs> That's probably why I like them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to like go a little more warm colors because I always use blue. Yeah, those are good too. This is so cool and it like sucks you in. Okay. Yay. Here's the charming giraffes with the two inch bottle bottom. So see those really fine lines? That's so cool. And we'll go by size. So here's Mitch's with the three inch bottle bottom. Beautiful, my favorite colors, all in one. And then here's mine with the four inch bottle bottoms. And definitely some bigger lines in there. Super cool. Okay, Mitch, so your first time using mixed media girl pouring paint and bottle bottoms, what did you think? It was simple and fun, and normally when I do art projects, they're, the, uh, the instructor is having to fix my project to make it look good, and I made this myself. It was super simple and mega fun. I'm gonna show my wife where to get this. Where do I find this stuff? Mixedmediagirl.com. That's simple. It's right here on the label. Yeah. <laughs> right on, Marcy. That was tons of fun, and I don't know which one I like best. I like yours best because of the colors. Those are my colors. Those are your colors, your yeah. go-to colors. My go-to. Yeah. I like the blues too on, on the epoxy project. It kind of. I'm all, your back. all about ocean. Yes. <laughs> right. Ocean right. colors, but they all came that's out really pretty, good. I really dig that one yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, I had never used the rapid dab, so that's why. I, <gasps> I, I like that. And which one's that? That's that, a hot pink. No, it's yeah, a no. deep magenta. Yeah. magenta. It's really pretty. Yeah. That is. I like the name too. Yeah. Good job. 
<laughs> that was fun, Marcy. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. We will see you guys all next time. And you, you got, got this. this.